Hello, today on the series of the African Forgotten Foods, we bring you another superfood by the name of finger millet. Finger millet, scientific name, Eleusine coracana. Finger millet is an annual herbaceous plant widely grown as a cereal crop in the arid and semi-arid lands of Africa and Asia. It is planted by self-pollinating, probably evolved from its wild relative Eleusine africana. Finger millet is a native to the Ethiopian and Ugandan highlands. Interestingly, the crop characteristics, they have the ability to withstand cultivation at altitudes over 2,000 meters, that is 6 point 6,600 feet above sea levels and it has a high tolerance of drought and long storage of the grains which means the storage capacity it is long which means it's good for food security. Finger millet originated in East Africa that is Ethiopian and Ugandan highlands. There are some claims it has been found in the Indian archaeological site dated to 1800 BC, that is the late Bronze Age. However, this has been demonstrated incorrectly, identified clean grains of hulled millets. The oldest record of funga millets come from an archaeological site in Africa, dating to the 8th century AD. Now, let's dive into the nutrition composition of finger millet. Energy, 3 or 5 kilocalories. Calcium, 334 milligram. Water, 11.3 grams. Iron, 11.3 milligrams. Protein, 7.4 grams. Zinc, 1.7 milligram. Fat, 1.9 grams vitamin a nothing carbohydrates available 53.3 grams folate 93 milligram dietary fiber 2.6 and the source is the kenya food commission tables 2018 this table i'll also put it in the description box so that you can go behind and have a look at it now Let's look at the medical benefits of finger millets or the health benefits. Finger millet, as we said, is a superfood. It can give you strong bones and teeth. Why? It contains highest calcium, about 364 milligram per 100 gram. This has three times more calcium than milk. Oh no, calcium is essential for maintaining strong bones and teeth. It is good for growing children as well as elderly people who might have the risk of osteoporosis. Let's look at weight loss. This is a global problem. Everybody is trying to reduce weight because of the other diseases that comes about with the obesity. Obesity is increasing globally. Uh, as seen in urban areas, even to some other rural areas. Finger million contains very low fat. And this makes it suitable for weight loss. Another component that it is tritopan. This an amino acid that helps in checking the weight of our body by lowering the appetite. Tripartan is generally used in biosynthesis of proteins. Since the digestion rate is slow, it keeps people away from extra calories in our diet. When digestion is slow, the time for craving for other foods does not come in, so definitely do not consume other extra diets or snacking along the day or during your time. Let's look at benefits in controlling diabetes and we all know diabetes is one of the global pandemics that people are trying to fight 
Finger millet will help in maintaining blood sugar levels. It has very low glycemic index, which favors slower digestion, thus preventing the spike in sugar levels in your body. Very good for controlling diabetes. Now, let's look at the benefits for pregnant and lactating mothers. Finger millet aids health pregnancy by adding milk production, aiding in milk production. At times, women, when they, especially in the African tradition, when they give birth, they are, they are normally given porridge every now so that they can increase the milk uh, so that the kids can be able to breastfeed very well. So millet is normally part of their diet each and every day. Relieving anxiety and stress. It also has rich contents of minerals and nutrients that nourish the mother and child during pregnancy. What a superfood. Then, with this kind of minerals in the foods and, and nutrients, it builds immunity and gives more strength to remain active. Then, it is also rich in calcium, iron, and amino acids. This one also helps in digestion. Let's look at maintenance of a good skin. Everybody wants to look good. Finger millet helps skin vitality and prevent wrinkle formation and sagging. Because of the presence of methionin and lysine in finger millet, it helps in what you call collagen formation, which keeps the skin healthy. The presence of fiber in finger millet also helps in what you call lowering cholesterol. Lectin and methionine remove excess fat from the liver and stabilize cholesterol levels in the blood, thus improving the heart health. So lowering your cholesterol, good for the heart. Let's look at how it helps in hemoglobin levels. We know that uh, iron deficiency is also a global problem. Now, and with the iron deficiency comes anemia. Now, finger millet as a source of iron addresses this issue and brings a positive impact on the hemoglobin levels. Let's look at digestion. Finger millets, it has the dietary fiber, which is essential for digestive health. It prevents or brings about better bowel movement. It prevents the irritable bowel syndrome. So the di dietary uh, fiber improves in digestion and also it prevents constipation. Finger millets having done all that it also relaxes the body it contains a good amino profile that acts as a re relaxant so regular consumption of finger millet helps in dealing with depression insomnia and anxiety also this finger millet is also a gluten-free Gluten-free varieties are recognized and well uh, trending in, in the world of today. This one is a good replacement for people who are gluten intolerant or people suffering from celiac disease. And people who want to avoid celiac disease now or in future. So traditionally, let's see how this uh, finger millet is used. In the traditional art, it is normally ground into flour and then taken in form of porridge. It is also taken in form of what you call ugali. And uh, so it's also eaten with, along with other, uh, I mean other vegetables. Uh, in the value added products, we find that now finger millet 
uh, has been used in uh, making instant porridge like the ones we do at Mugala Naturals. It is also used to make breakfast cereals. It's also to make biscuits, cookies, cakes, healthy snacks. In some parts of Kenya, that is Western Kenya, the flour and grains are used in making, brewing beer, local beer. There is potential for it to be used as lives of fig, especially the straw or the leftovers after harvesting. They can be used in making silage, in making organic fertilizer to replenish the soils. Can be used in charcoal briquettes and they can also be used in poultry feed. So you can see it has both good effects to the human and to the livestock, and it can also be used, the straws there can also be used in roofing after the harvest. Thank you very much for listening. In case you have any more information, this is a peer 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 to peer learning. So please DM us for more information in case you want some clarification. Kindly just put it on the comment section. We shall reply and give you more information as per request or as per our knowledge. And kindly subscribe, share like make a comment and also make a notification so that we can whenever we upload the next video you can be able to get it we believe in sharing is caring so let knowledge be given to each and everybody out there who has the ear to listen even those who don't listen at one time they might be able to read through and help themselves in what we say Food is thy medicine and medicine is thy food. The health systems are very expensive and very boring. We've just mentioned 10 benefits. Why should you suffer after when you leave the prevention, management, and then now you go to diagnosis, now you're looking for, they say prevention is better than cure. Let's not go, get to that a stage when we are very sure that we can have these foods which are accessible, acceptable, affordable within our means. Thank you very much again. I'm looking forward to your comments, looking forward to your subscription so that the channel can be able to assist any other people. Looking forward for sharing and liking. Thank you very much. Be blessed. I'm looking forward to the next video about food systems and especially climate resilient, which we can develop food systems that can stay longer to our shelves, can be nutritious and for food and security for each and everybody from the most vulnerable to the least vulnerable but as for the global pandemic this one now cuts across obesity malnutrition the cardiovascular diseases they cut across so the, the as we say prevention is better than cure food is their medicine and medicine their food so please let's take care of our bodies because as they say our bodies are our temples what you eat is what you are. Thank you very much and be blessed.